In today's EOX Removal video, we're going to show you how we go from this full ear canal to this lovely, clear, shiny eardrum. Hi everyone, my name is Rhys Barber, I'm the audiologist here at Audiology Associates. Thanks very much for watching that EOX Removal compilation video today. Three patients in this compilation. Now you can see from that first initial shot here that this particular patient's ear canal is very, very blocked up here. We've got this layer of dry skin just to the right hand side of the ear canal, and you can see how that folds up and over the top of this wax. So we're going to have to remove that skin before we we can get to this plug behind. This is the standard size ulnar tube in here. So we're just gonna grip the skin and a layer of the wax from behind it, just to bunch it all into the end of the suction tube so we don't get it clarinetting, so we don't get this vibration up in the end of the, uh, the tube there. So you can see that layer of skin that we've managed to pull forwards. Look how it goes from around the top, down the right-hand side and across the bottom of the canal. So this is what's been sealing that particular plug of wax in uh, this ear canal. So we've got a good grip, it's very dry, this skin you can see as we're pulling it forwards there's not a lot of flexibility there and as we draw look how this comes away with this long ribbon uh, of dry skin there coming away so we'll just lift that up so you can see it. So a fair old size ribbon of wax, uh, skin, I should say, sorry, not wax. Uh, so we're just getting to the next section now. Now that's drawn uh, the next layer of skin forwards. Let's get rid of that and then we can really start working on this plug behind. You can see the difference now. That lighter material that was in front of this plug is now gone. Uh, so now we get into the, uh, the, the sort of stickier, softer bits of wax that have been trapped behind that. Um, thanks to everyone who commented on our short video we did the other day. If you missed it, go and check that one out. What we're going to do, it's really difficult for me to answer everybody's questions in the comment section. I just, unfortunately, I'm really sorry. I'd love to do it, but I just don't have the time to, to go through it all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start picking some questions at random and I'm going to do a little short video. So we're going to start dropping a couple of those in as well. So if you do have any burning questions about this particular wax removal or anything in particular uh, as related to audiology or the wax bits and pieces, drop them into the comment section below and you never know, we might get to do a little short video about them. So we managed to just to break all this down now. Uh, it's really starting to come forwards and we've just got this last little bit of dry skin you can see lifting from the base of the canal just catching uh, on this last plug so a bit of a bit of a wiggle there just to get that out of the ear canal. Out that comes, there we go. And we'll take a look behind that. Let's see how that's looking. So looking a lot better. So there's what it looked like to start with. This is what it looks like now. So you can see a much more open ear canal there. Two centimeters, three quarters of an inch there. Look inches without hesitation guys thank you very much uh, so three quarters of an inch there uh, looking much much better in that ear canal very different colors very dark almost this sort of chestnutty brown this conker brown color uh, uh, wax there as well so this is the second patient in the compilation you can see very similar story uh, very very blocked up again as most patients are when they come through in fairness uh, but you can see that it's a little bit lighter uh, the, the wax in in this particular ear canal so Back in again, standard size on the tube. Let's start getting a grip on this. Now, what are we looking at here? So did you notice as soon as we got a grip on that, that it almost imploded inwards like this? It's another layer of dry skin. And you can see it's really that, that to the right hand side there. Look how that's feeding out. So what we're doing here, the technique we're using is moving little tiny movements, drawing forwards, then pushing the suction tube back onto it, get a much better grip, and then drawing forwards again. And then out this long, <laughs> plug comes. There you go. You can see wax down that left hand side, dry skin layer down the other side as well, and lovely shiny eardrum. So this is what it looked like to start with. And this is what it looks like now. So you can see massive difference in this ear canal. Uh, so this is the patient's other ear canal here. And you can see we've got this very thin layer of skin. How do we know it's skin? It's slightly translucent. We've got this slightly rippled effect to the surface. That's how we know this is skin. So we're gonna plant the suction tube straight in the center and we're gonna see if we can draw this down. Now, suction isn't always the best option to take away dry skin. If this was a much thinner piece just lifting up and there was a lot of a gap around it, I probably wouldn't use the suction. Because this was a nice sort of almost film, a plate of skin there, uh, we can drop the suction smack into the center of it. We're less likely to get uh, clarinetting and more likely to get a good grip uh, on there as well. So we're just lifting from the base of the canal. Now this did catch me out a little bit. I thought this was just a little bit of wax. When we started lifting this, um, it was hiding everywhere. <laughs> it was really tucked into all the nooks and crannies on there. Uh, just, so just as we start to lift this edge piece here. Oh, don't forget there is one more to see after this one, guys. Don't go anywhere. You've got to keep watching this video. Um, so we're just gonna pick this up. There we go. Uh, trying to get a good grip on, oh gee, it does not want to budge. 
Are we going to have to engage turbo wiggling here, guys? You never, you never know. So it's starting to move. Uh, oh, it really doesn't want to budge, does it? Oh, I'm in two minds at this point. Do we go in with a different tool? Something's holding this back. Can we wiggle this out? Oh, turbo wiggle. There we go. It's... Ah, oh, that did it. Look, see, nothing can resist the turbo wiggle. So out this comes, we give it a really good wiggle at the entrance of the canal, and it brought it out really nicely. Eardrum looks lovely and healthy. This is what it looked like to start with. And this is what it looks like now. I love these transitions. I think they're one of my favorite things to do. So we've got three centimeters, one and, oh, I'm going to say one and a quarter inches there. One and a quarter inches for that one. You can see how long that initial piece was. The one at the top of the screen, as you see it now, really stretched it out uh, as it came out of the ear canal. So we're just coming up on our third, and I think it's final patient. I can't honestly remember, but I think it's third and final. Uh, ah, yes, the lovely patient. Now, you'll, the keen item, you will see, you can see the eardrum there. So why is this patient come through to clear there? If you can see the eardrum, surely they should be hearing absolutely fine. And they are. But what they're getting is a lot of itching and irritation in the ear canal. And the reason for that is we've got this dry piece of skin, which you, oh, yes, I remember this one. Stay tuned to the end of this one, guys. Uh, so it's uh, coming off the side of the canal wall and almost touching the other canal wall. When your ear canal does this, it's going to be bopping along the side of that all the time. And that's going to cause a bit of irritation. If you love a good skin ribbon, I should have told you this at the beginning, shouldn't I? Uh, keep an eye on this one. This is a good one. So we've got a grip on this with a loose skin. Lots of dry skin in my removals today. And in fairness, we are seeing a lot of dry skin issues coming through at the moment. Um, so we're just going to get a grip on this. You can see it's almost like a, a little sleeve on the inside. So let's bring out the crocodile forceps here. Let's clamp onto that little sleeve just there. And as we draw this forwards, you can see it didn't quite get a grip. I know the crocodile forceps gets a bad rep, guys. And I, I know you kind of, uh, some people think it's just a bit pointless. It's not really that useful. But for this kind of thing, it is really useful. You could have gone in maybe with a set of Hengel forceps or a slightly wider jaw, but we didn't have a massive gap to work into. That will just shove it further back. So we've got a good grip. Watch this bit. So as it's coming out, there we go, we're starting to see it moving. Now we have to go back in and get a clamp on this next section. I think this is the bit, so keep an eye on this bit. So as we pull out this, I've slowed this down for you, out it comes, there we go. So there's the dry skin. We can see it start to come away. We've just had to reposition it because we, we just tore a little bit off the end there. Uh, let's get a good solid grip this time, give it a good old pull very, very slowly. Let's get a little bit of movement now. Let's get a bit of wiggling going on. That's gonna free up a lot more of that dead skin. Look how this is coming away. We'll reposition, reclamp on now. We've got a good, nice, sizable, chunky piece to get a good grip on there. Look at the tail end of this coming out the ear canal. There it goes. There it goes. This is a great one. You can see that coming away really, really well. The patient was so shocked. I actually showed them what came out of the ear canal and they couldn't believe all that fitted in the ear canal in fairness. There's a little tiny bit of dry skin here just to the one side. You can actually see where it uh, detached there. Uh, but there's the eardrum. So this is what it looked like at the start and this is what it looks like at the end. So you can see a much different ear canal. Look at the size of that. I reckon that's a good three centimeters of everyone's money. I'd be even tempted to say to shift that along the, the inches ruler a little bit. Let's give it an inch and one eighth on that one. So you can see a very, very long skin ribbon come out of that patient's ear. No wonder they were getting irritation and tickling in there. They had this living around in there. So guys, uh, thank you so much. It was lovely to be back on screen again. Um, there will be a mixture. Uh, we actually have a new audiologist, which is the reason I'm in different clinics all the time at the moment. Uh, I only have my green screen in this particular clinic. Uh, so you'll see me when I'm working here, but um, it'll just be voiceovers when I'm in the others. Things will settle over the next uh, sort of six to eight weeks as things settle down and we're all in our back to our normal clinics again. Well, guys, as always, take care of yourselves, take care of your ears and take care of one another. I know you enjoyed that one. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you really like the videos, don't forget to subscribe. I keep forgetting to ask people to do that. And uh, we'll see you again on Friday. Bye. Bye, everyone.